All right, I'm getting some more co-wetzel today. Um, this one was from Lance. He asked me to do a video on it, said there wasn't many good videos. And I understand why now from watching like some of his live stuff. And they're kind of all different. There, He does, you know, some are real slow, just electric in the, like the album. And then some are him playing acoustic with electric solo in the background. Some are just acoustic. So there's a little bit of everything. So this one's just kind of be, you know, a broad stroke of them. Um, just playing acoustic, more made to like sing with it, just kind of get the vibe of it. But uh, you're gonna start in E, it's in standard tuning. I know he plays it half step down with an electric on some of them. Sounds just good with the acoustic and standard. There's you know kind of ways around it, but I'm gonna start in in E. It's gonna be open two two one open open. And again, some of them he kind of. Some he kind of picks through real slow. Some you, I like kind of just playing the, you know, just keep it real gentle, strong with it. But then your next note is going to be a power chord on your second fret and then your fourth, fourth fret. So open, two, four, four, open, open. And even though it's not like a regular power chord because you're going to play the high ones too. It's gonna be an A2, which is just two strings really easy. You can bar it too, but it's tough kind of missing the other strings around it. It's a little bit easier to split with two fingers. But it's just gonna be open, open, two, two, open, open. That little hammer on that he does kind of throughout the whole thing when you're in your E shape is gonna be your pinky on your uh, fourth string down, second fret. Into that power chord shape. A2. for the intro and the verse. And when he gets into the chorus, it gets a little bit more, there's a couple, there's a couple little runs um, that we can throw in, you don't have to play them. I think it gives it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more to it. But when you get to the chorus, after playing through the same, and those three, and you're coming out of the A2. And then that first big note he hits, in the course, you're gonna go A2, all the big note, back into the E, and then the big note again, into the A2, and so on this one, when you go back into the E, get one good strum, and then and that little run is gonna be Open under E string, hammer on two to four, second fret A string, bend your second fret E string. You got some real heavy strings that can be tough. Right back into your E. And then on this one, when you go back into your A, as you would back into the First thing I'm playing, you're gonna walk up and then walk down. So you put that all together after you, um, you know, the Just going from the three chords. Only real difference. 
difference in the chorus is you're just going to A. And if you want to play it without those little runs, you got to have that. You can just go to A. Back to the E. And you just keep pounding out the A to the E. To the A to. Instead of adding the. You don't have to, it just adds to it. Only important part is on the very last one from your A. 